Let me first, before we get in the video, show you the exact models that we're comparing in this video. This is the 2024 ART STLT 2000. This guy here is a little bit smaller, but note that the model name is STSF 1000. So this one is STLT. This one is STSF. This size says 2000. This size says 1000. Now in reality, the 2000 size reel has 1000 size body and 2000 size spool. I don't know if most of you know, but these numbers here really designate the size of the spool. They don't designate the size of the body. If anything, sometimes there are letters that designate the size of the body. Now, usually the same spool comes with the same body, but not always. The 1000, the little guy, the STSF 1000 has 500 size body and 1000 size spool. So the body is one size smaller and the spool is one size smaller also. And then we, first I'm gonna compare these two reels. And then we're gonna compare with the 2022 Vanquish 1000 SSS PG. The letters rarely matter, but this reel has 1000 size body and 1000 size spool. There is something that I've touched on in several videos, but I never explicitly articulated. If you compare the 1000 size reel with 2500 size reel of any, any model of any maker, the 2500 size reel always feels nicer. You know, my Vanforts, the 1000 size, they don't feel quite perfect, but all of the 2500 size Vanforts, gosh, they always feel perfect. The same is if you compare the Luvius. The Luvius 1000, it's all right, but my gosh, the 2500 size Luvius, perfect. Even my Vanquish. The 1000 size, yeah, it's amazing, but the 2500 size Vanquish, it always feels a little bit better. In my opinion, this comes from the fact that the imperfections and the tolerances inside the reel are the same. Just it's the same physical size imperfections, let's say one millionth of one millimeter. I'm making up a number. But this same imperfection is, you can still kind of feel it in a small, very light reel. But the same imperfection in the larger size reel that has big gears, longer handle, big rotor, like you, you just have more mass and it's just more difficult to feel the exact same imperfection. So this is something that I want to put out there for you guys to keep at the back of your mind if you are on the edge should I get the 1000 size or 2500 size? Keep that in mind. If you compare these two reels, the 500 size body with 1000 size spool, and this one here, the 1000 size body, let's just say 500 size body with 1000 size body, I can say exactly the same thing. It's not that there is anything wrong with this reel. If I never touched this reel, I would tell you this, this reel is just perfect and amazing. You know, that's, that's what I would tell you. It's perfect and amazing and I'll give it 10 out of 10. But because I had them on the same rod, they have the same line and I fished them back to back, you know, for a couple of weeks, the, the 1000 size body always felt when I switched between the rods, always felt just a little bit smoother, just a little bit. I don't know how to describe it because I'm, I'm gonna use some uh, bullshit language, but it always feels just a little bit nicer than this one, even though this one feels amazing if I don't touch the other one. 
Uh, so keep this in mind if you are deciding between these two sizes. Another difference that I noticed when I was fishing with the two reels and I was switching between them is the effort that I have to put to reel a bluegill. The effort is different. And this is why when you do these reviews, you have to fish the reels. You can't just test them in the shop or here, you know, over the table. I told you, for example, over the table, when you test the resistance of the two reels at the knob, the resistance at the knob, like uh, torque at the crankshaft on the engines, the resistance over here at the knob is to me exactly the same on both reels. I'm sure it's not exactly the same. If you have some machine and some instruments, you can probably detect the difference but I doubt many humans in a blind test can detect the difference and can tell you which one has more or less resistance at the knob. However, when I was reeling little bluegill, I felt that with this 1000 size body, I'm just reeling here. I, I, I'm winching. I don't want to say winching. It sounds like I'm pulling a catfish or something. I'm not saying I'm, I ski them on top of the water, but I'm reeling this bluegill very easy. What I noticed probably for first time in my ultralight fishing career, that when I am reeling little bluegill, with the 5,000 size body arity, I have to actually put a little bit of an effort to, to reel the bluegill. I have to put a little bit of an effort. It feels kind of enjoyable. It's like I'm pulling the fish myself. It makes the fight a little bit bigger, a little bit more enjoyable. I think this obviously comes from the fact that you have smaller gears here. Uh, I mean, everything is smaller. Your handle, importantly, is very short. So it doesn't give you the leverage that you get with the larger reel. And if this wasn't enough, there was something very strange. These two reels have exactly the same line. 2.3 pound, verivas, ester, clear. They have exactly the same line. And this one has smaller spool and I don't know why that would matter. But when I was casting, I could kind of feel the line touching the lip and coming out of the spool. It was almost like sensitivity during the casting. And I could kind of feel if the cast was effortless or the cast was... I don't know how to describe it. I have to use some bullshit vocabulary. But I don't know. All in all, I noticed that this reel, perhaps the biggest reason is it's, it's much lighter. This reel gives you a different level of sensitivity. It's, it's sensitivity even during the cast. I don't know, I feel the line coming, coming touching the lip here on the cast. Uh, I have to use extra effort when I'm reeling the fish, when I'm twitching the jig, I, I feel my rod a little bit more. This little size grew, grew up on me real fast once I put thin line. So I don't know. I don't want to repeat everything that I just said. I see this segment is uh, six minutes already, but this little size here, it's not smoother. I told you this reel feels a little bit smoother, a little bit more perfect. But this guy gives me a different level of sensitivity that I hadn't noticed before. For example, I don't feel that I need to put extra effort on the Vanquish to reel a little bluegill. The Vanquish doesn't have problem reeling up a little uh, bluegill. But I kind of really started enjoying this extra feel that uh, this little reel gives. 
The only thing that I never got used to on this reel is this knob here. This knob is when my fingers grab it, I always, before I start reeling, I need to, my fingers just grab it, right? I need to turn it so, so it's flat and then I start reeling. So when I grab it, always first I need to adjust it so I'm holding it th the right way. You don't want to reel and hold the knob like this, right? You want to hold the knob like this. But my fingers always have to turn it before it before I find the right way to hold it and start turning the handle. And that was insisting in this knob. It put it in the presso. Now it's putting it here. Now, I am not against the idea of providing a different knob for this reel. Something smaller, something, I don't know, more sensitive, more everything. I, I like the idea of having a smaller knob for this reel because everything in this reel is smaller if you compare these two reels. I'm not going to go into too much detail comparing components, but everything is smaller. The frame is smaller, the handle is smaller, the rotor is smaller, the, sp the spool is smaller and shorter. The travel up and down of the spool is smaller, everything is smaller. It makes sense to have a smaller knob, but I want to recommend to Daiwa to just kill this knob. Kill it and design a new knob for your 500 size reels and 1000 size reels, but it has to be flat. I want my fingers to just grab it. I almost feel that if it was completely round, it would bother me less because if you grab a round knob, there is nothing to adjust, right? If you grab it like this, I mean, it's just round. But if I grab it like this with a flat knob, I need to first turn it like this and then start reeling. So just design a different knob, make it more flat and perhaps no need for rubber on the 500. I mean, it is after all a sensitive tune reel. Perhaps we don't need a rubber here at all. It can be completely carbon knob and uh, yeah, just make it flat. Whatever, I will tolerate anything, any material, uh, just make it flat. So if we do a final comparison between the two models, these two models, the 500 size body here and the 1000 size body here, these things are really not alternatives. You can't use either one. Depending on what you want to use the reel for, one of these will be obviously better than the other. I told you this one feels a little bit nicer, a little bit smoother, a little bit quieter, more finessey. It has more winching power. It has slightly larger gears, handle. If you are going to put one of these reels on a rod that is ultralight power or the rod weighs like 60 grams or more, and you want to occasionally double duty this ultralight rod for, you know, white bass, you know, black bass, or I don't know, larger trout. This is obviously the reel to go. Don't put, don't buy, if, if you want to double duty for, you know, white bass, black bass, or larger trout, or you're going to put it on a larger rod like the 7 foot 6 Suare XR, this little reel here, the 130 gram, would be kind of inappropriate. And I have a feeling, I know Daiwa makes amazing gears and durability and all of that, but if I have to put extra effort on this reel to reel a little bluegill, and you want to use this regularly for, you know, white bass and black bass, you might actually prematurely wear out the gears and it's not like you're gonna break them or anything but you're gonna lose the brand new amazing feel of the gears so yeah for ultralight rods that weigh 60 grams or more and occasional double duty with white and black bass 
go with this model here for sure and this model here if you are looking for a reel for these exotic super ultralight rods from japan eradicator presso air ags that weigh like 42 grams you can't i mean you can but this is obviously the 500 size a much better choice first of all you save 20 grams then you get the extra sensitivity then you get the extra joy when you're fighting the fish so for rods that are under 60 grams that are super ultra light or extra ultra light power and this reel will be used strictly for ultra light fishing like panfish you know maybe small trout you know occasional fish is okay but it's important to not do it regularly and you know or not cast large lures like crankbaits that create a lot of drag through the water so you can wear out the gears even just retrieving you know large swim baits or, or crankbaits or spinners or something like that now where it gets more interesting is if you try to decide between these two models of the Arity and the Vanquish then it's more interesting let's do the 2000 size uh, Arity first comparing with the 1000 size so a uh, Vanquish so both of these reels what's important have 1000 size body this one has you know slightly larger spool but that's not that important so I'm going to tell you right away before people start saying night and day and this one is obviously nothing is obvious. Both of these reels are amazing. They have very similar MSRP and they offer a very similar value. They offer very similar value. So I don't care too much which way you go it's really not going to be a catastrophic mistake. Don't lose sleep over this decision. They are both amazing. They do feel kind of different though. And I slightly prefer the Vanquish. But again, I'm saying slightly because I can tell you the same thing that I said previously when I compared the 500 Arity and, and, and this one. I can say the same thing when I compare these two reels. This Arity does feel just a little bit quieter and smoother and more sophisticated than the Vanquish. But I just prefer the, the feel of the Vanquish and the feel of the directness of the gears here. I prefer the super slow oscillation of the spool, the perfect line lay. The sound of the drag, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just, personally, I prefer the Vanquish just a little bit more. And I prefer the fact that it's black instead of gray. However, if you are, if you just like this color or you have gray color rod or you just like Daiwa more than Shimano, I'm telling you, the two reels have very small differences in performance they both have super low resistance i i said it in the previous video i do think the performance of the vanquish in terms of you know resistance and startup inertia is slightly better than this arity but it's the differences are so small that if you think this reel is more elegant which it is uh, I mean, it definitely color notwithstanding. If we take the color aside, this is not a beautiful reel. And this one is just shiny, elegant, curvy. If that's what your heart desires, you will be more happy. If you like how pretty it is, you will be more happy with this reel because they both feel amazing. So don't get too hung up on you know, Victor said that the uh, Vanquish is better. They both feel so good. The differences are so small. But if you bought the Vanquish already, this exact model I'm talking about, because it just came out a year earlier, 
if you bought this reel already, uh, there is really, there is nothing, no argument that I can give you to buy this reel now. There is nothing in this reel that is, again, I, I said looks notwithstanding because if you like how pretty it is, then go buy it. But there is nothing in terms of performance that or weight that this reel offers that this reel doesn't. However, if we compare the 1000 size Vanquish with the 500 size body Arity STSF, now the comparison is very different because even if there is no better performance in this reel in terms of startup inertia and resistance and that kind of stuff, even though it's 500 size, the startup inertia and the resistance is not lower than the Vanquish. But this little reel does offer a different user experience than the Vanquish. So I know it's a lot of money, but you can kind of make the case that even if you have a Vanquish, you might still want to get this little guy here just because it feels different. First of all, if you use this instead of the Vanquish, you're saving 10 grams. Again, I said that in the previous video, you're saving 10 grams not because Daiwa made a lighter reel, but because Daiwa made a smaller reel. If you compare apples to apples, 1000 with 1000 size and 2000 with 2000, the Vanquish will be lighter than the same size Arity. But Vanquish doesn't have a 500 size Apple. So Daiwa has a 500 size Arity now and the Vanquish doesn't. And because of that, you can get a different user experience. You get the kind of different feel like when you're reeling the fish, you have to kind of push a little bit more. Like I told you, even when I cast, I'm feeling the vibration from the coils touching the spools, the spool. I'm feeling this vibration in my hand, but I'm kind of enjoying this. When I'm twitching the jigs, I feel less of the reel and I feel I'm twitching it only with the rod. So this reel kind of kind of offers a different user experience. So while it's very easy to choose between the two areas, like if you're going to put it on an ultralight power rod and fish slightly larger fish, go with the bigger one. And if you're going to put it on super ultralight rod and fish only small fish, go with the small one. Choosing between these two reels, the 500 size body Arity and the 1000 size body Vanquish, this is a very difficult choice, I have to tell you, because I still think that in terms of performance and overall feel and the sound of the drag, I still prefer the Vanquish and I still think that the Vanquish is the best reel overall if you compare reels of the same size but once again vanquish doesn't have a 500 size you know apple so even though i have the vanquish i can see how i want to have this one too now there is one saving grace in this terrible debacle choosing between these two reels it's that usually the people who can afford to buy one of these reels, they can afford to buy them both. So this is a terrible advice that I'm giving you, but I kind of think you, if you can afford it, if you can afford it, and if your wife is not going to kick you out of the house, I think you want, you want to try both of these because they're both amazing, but they feel different. I mean, again, this one, it offers something else. 
It might not be better than the Vanquish, but it does offer something different than the Vanquish. So, I don't know. I'm going to leave it uh, as this. I cannot uh, tell you if, if you have to have only one reel for these exotic rods that weigh like 45 to 50 gram, which one would you choose? It's really hard. I, I can't tell you which of these I like more. I feel that this reel in the long run will have much better durability. But who buys these reels for durability? Who buys? Did you did you ever consider durability when, when you're buying? I mean, look at here. It says, it says super finesse. You don't buy super finesse for durability. By the way, I absolutely love the size of the spool on this little guy. The reason I hate these 500 size reels is that usually they come with super small spools and the line is so curly that you can never get rid of the, the coils on your line. But because this spool, even though it has a tiny body, tiny handle, but the size of the spool is good. So the line comes out pretty straight. It's not that curly. So yeah, I'm going to leave uh, leave it like this. You guys, I hope I gave you enough uh, information to decide uh, which one of these you want. But this is the end of this video. Thank you for your patience and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.